Well, there you see my cat who is guarding where I have a mole trap set. I think she hears the noise down underneath the ground. And over here, I just got through harvesting the beans. There's still a whole bunch in the in there, but I got a bushel of them out. As you can see, I've got potatoes, uh, garlic, uh, onions, and oh my goodness, do I have lettuce! I just pulled a head lettuce out of here and a couple of the leaf lettuce plants and put them in the fridge for uh, later tomorrow. But boy, I, I tried one while I was harvesting. Oh, it's delicious. Just delicious. You cannot compare uh, leaf lettuce or head lettuce that you've grown yourself to the stuff you get in the grocery store. This stuff is so much infinitely better. And I've got a host of potatoes going here. I think I want to have a uh, bumper crop come fall which is kind of nice. Uh, <clears throat> I need it. <laughs> also, not doing so well, but it's doing okay. But this, pro this uh, part of the garden over here has been here for a couple of years now and has been covered with manure and fertilizer many times. This one is brand new. And as you can tell, oh, I see I've got some beans over here too. But you can tell the corn here is not doing as well as the uh, potatoes over there. That corn should be about uh, waist high by now, but it isn't. Well, I got some more lettuce over there. Oh my. And I think these are squash through here. That's some pot plants. Um, not doing so well here either. And what do I have over here? That's a, I think that's a cucumber. And uh, my peppers are... Something decided that it liked to munch on the leaves of these peppers think. And the tomato I had right here, it's gone. It didn't last. I just can't really grow tomatoes worth, worth spit, really. I just can't do it. I don't know why. But that lettuce sure is going good. So is this. This looks, so. what is this? This is chard. This is chard. Oh, let's try it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. This is peppermint and spearmint. I'm hoping for it to take over this section of the garden, if not the whole garden. That has a tendency to do that. But I need plenty of it because, uh, you know, I dry it out and then use it for tea. And I've got more head lettuce over here. And I'm not quite sure what this plant is here. I think it's not a... I don't think it's a weed. I think it's something I grew. I've lost the... Let's see if it'll if this tells me what it is. I think it's pretty well shredded. <clears throat> well, it says that it's some kind of a of a squash, but it doesn't look it. It sure doesn't look it. But isn't that a beauty right there? And that one right there? Well, all of these really. Uh, that's uh, chives in between there. Uh, just. Uh, just a little chai, I mean, just a little for flavor, you know. And then we've got a host of, of lettuce growing through there. You know, I, I tried to, to plant it uh, evenly, and uh, no, it doesn't do that. <laughs> just takes off everywhere, it does. Oh, and we have weeds, we have weeds. Oh, we always have weeds. This is Oregon. Oregon is just the home of weeds. And I seem to have a, a pot volunteer over there that... Uh, it's getting bigger than all the rest. Look at these whippy little things over here. Look at that huge thing over there. Anyway, this is my garden today. I've got a purple uh, looking lettuce over there. I have to pick that soon and see what it tastes like. Some purple ones here too. Oh dear. Well, this is a tomato right here, but it's not doing so well. Oh well. This is June in Oregon, I uh, took down the uh, the laurel hedge that was around the property. Uh, it was got, getting out of hand, but uh, it'll grow back. It will grow back a lot. I mean, over here, this is the first part that was uh, trimmed down to the ground, and it's already growing up. But this time next year, it'll be about waist high. <laughs> 